you how to get to the witch museum? Behind us is the witch dungeon museum. We bought a, uh, a train load of mannequins. We went to an auction and bought uh, boxes of wigs. I went to the Salvation Army and other places digging out clothes. And we created some 50 characters to be in our dungeon down below. When I created the dungeon, we really made it a scary place to be. The reason that the Salem Witch Museum is uh, the museum that consistently draws the most people is because we feel that the subject matter is the sizzle of the city. And I says to Eddie, I want to go see that Salem Witch Museum out in the, what, in this, this Massachusetts? So when a person comes here, they expect the watts on the nose and the cauldrons and, you know, the spells and things like that. Spooky! If people feel that it's commercialized, we don't at the Salem Witch Museum. I don't think that we commercialize it at all. We give people, we give public what they want. The hanging part, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she likes yeah, I like that. <laughs> The witchcraft hysteria in 1692 is no different than the Holocaust in uh, 1942. Is it any more important to lose 19 of those lives on Gallows Hill or 6 million people in Europe? In any case, they're dead. Uh -oh. It's not working. Not working. Oh,